A former respected Pittsburgh Steeler player has labelled Matt Canada as utterly incompetent. Hello, Steeler Nation, and welcome to the Pittsburgh Steeler Syndicate with me, your host, Pittsburgh Owen, your voice from across the pond speaking to you here in the UK. Guys, please remember to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and give this video a like if you want to be part of the syndicate. Guys, let me say something to you. Now, later on, I'm going to reveal to you what the Matt Canada system is. I've had a revelation. I've read some stuff. I've done some research. I know what the Mac Canada system is, so hang on to the end of the video where I will reveal to you what the Mac Canada system is. You've got to get through some bits first as I talk about this story, and it links into what the Mac Canada system is. So hang about, guys, for that. So Merrill Hodge, ex-Pittsburgh Steeler player, was speaking to Ben Roethlisberger on Ben Roethlisberger's new po podcast, Footballing, and he was talking about the current Steelers offense and the Steelers offensive coordinator, Matt Canada. Now, Merrill Hodge, obviously, who played for the Pittsburgh Steelers between 1987 and 1993, um, was a hard-as-nails fullback who played, obviously, under Chuck Knoll as well. So has good experience with the Steelers and good experience of working under an outstanding head coach. Hodge, Hodge, who was speaking on Ben's podcast, said the current Steelers offense reminds him of the last two seasons of Chuck Knoll in Pittsburgh when the Pittsburgh Steelers offense was run by a guy called Joe Walton. Hodge went on to explain what he meant by this. Hodge said that Walton was utterly inflexible, that he had his system and that was the system he stuck to. And he made the players try and follow a system that did not suit the type of players that they had, did not suit the skill set of the players. He said that Walton was utterly inflexible, would not move and would make the players do what he wanted to do, even though what he was asking the players to do was not suitable for those players. Hoag said that the play calling that he saw from Joe Walton is ringing alarm bells all over again with Matt Canada. He's seeing that he sees striking similarities between the days of Joe Walton and the now, the present days of Matt Canada. Yes, he sees Matt Canada as inflexible and he even labelled him as utterly incompetent as an offensive coordinator. Certainly he's not the first person or the first Steeler or Steeler fan to label Matt, Can Matt Canada as an incompetent offensive coordinator. Hodge went on in the interview with Ben Roethlisberger to state that Canada was inflexible and unable to adjust his scheme to meet the talents of the players that he had at his disposal. That he was unable to actually match his scheme to the outstanding talents that he had at his disposal. I suppose here he is talking about, for example, George Pickens, Chase Claypool, Deontay Johnson, for example, who numerous times on Sunday got themselves downfield and got themselves open, but were ignored by Mitch Trubisky. If you look at what George Pickens was asked to do, look at George Go and look at George Pickens' route tree. On George Pickens' route tree, you can see that he is solely being used as a decoy to allow the Steelers to throw checkdowns around the line of scrimmage. What Matt Canada is thinking here when he has a perspective, a prospectively outstanding wide receiver in George Pickens, and he is using him as a decoy. No wonder Pickens was annoyed and angry and deeply, there's a really bad word there, which I'm not going to say on the syndicate, in the dressing room on Sunday, and he refused to speak to media. Certainly when we look at Matt Canada's system and Matt Canada's incompetence, it certainly does bear fruit what Merrill Hodge is saying. Last season, when Matt Canada was working with future Hall of Fame quarterback Ben Roethlisberger. He did not seem to be able to suit what he was doing to Ben's skill set. Yes, Ben obviously lacked mobility, but Ben still had an arm. Ben still had his talent. Ben still had a wealth of football knowledge. And certainly the offense only seemed to be able to move and challenge the opposition defense when seemingly Ben Roethlisberger took over and drew up plays in the dirt like only he can due to the fact he had 18 years of NFL experience, Hall of Fame experience. It seems really strange as well, Merrill Hodge went on to say, that the Steelers' offence used more RPO action with Ben Roethlisberger, who struggled to move with the ball, who struggled to run with the ball, than they have done this season, where they have supposedly got Mitch Trubisky, who is a very mobile quarterback. To be able to say that they are using more RPO action with a quarterback that was immobile as a quarterback who is mobile really does show the incompetence levels that Matt Canada is working at.
which are very, very high in my opinion. But not just my opinion, obviously Merrill Hodge's opinion. But who is Merrill Hodge? Well, guys, some of you can say, oh, he's a bitter ex-stealer, he's a bitter ex-player. Well, let's actually look at what he's done. Since retiring from the game, Hodge has worked as an ESPN analyst, doing deep dives into several offensive schemes from several different teams. He is widely renowned amongst the uh, networks and amongst the NFL as been as having unprecedented knowledge on what makes a good offense. He is one of the most deeply respected analysts by NFL insiders about his knowledge of offenses and how offenses work due to the amount of work he has done into looking into them and looking at different systems. So when he comes out and he's saying things like Canada is incompetent, Canada is inflexible, Canada can't meet get his scheme to meet the needs of his players, then that surely shows that there's definitely something wrong with the Pittsburgh Steelers organization. The addition to that is the fact that they have a quarterback who is unable to throw players open, is unable to look beyond one read. If you look at if you look at the all 22 guys, look at the all 22 at Mitch Trubisky, the guy's head never moves. He stays fixated on his one receiver that he's going to check down to. He does not look round, he does not look deep. There are occasions on Sunday where he had men downfield in Pickens and Johnson, wide open, and would have had a jog to the end zone. But instead, because he doesn't look up, he doesn't move his head, he is purely fixated on the check down that Canada so wants, he doesn't throw deep. Part of that is down to Matt Canada and the inflexibility of this system and the fact that this system sucks. But not only that, it is also down to the fact that Mitch Trubisky has not got the skill set to be an NFL starting quarterback. He is atrocious. So, guys, we're in here now. What is the Matt Canada system? That's what we want to know. Well, Merrill Hodge and a few others have classified it as a college system. They said that it is a college spread offense. A college spread offense. That's the system he's trying to run in the NFL. What is a college spread offense? Well, it's a system that takes advantage of weaker college players who are not able to set the edge. Something that does not happen in the NFL. NFL players are the elite, the top of the top. You are not are very rarely ever going to get players that are unable to set the edge. So a spread college scheme is not going to work in the NFL. Canada is clearly just plain ridiculously incompetent. And if you listen to his interview yesterday that he gave, he didn't answer any of the questions properly. The answers he gave were utter rubbish. He was arrogant. He was quite rude to the press. In my opinion, and I think the opinion of Merrill Hodge and other insiders, Matt Canada seems to just stick to his scheme. He seems to, in spite of what is going on, in spite of what he sees the defence doing, in spite of what the players can do on the field, he just takes a very cookie-cutter approach. This play, this play, this play. Don't care if it doesn't suit the defence. I'm doing this play, this play, this play. It doesn't work. It isn't working. It didn't work last season. It isn't working this season. And anyone who says that it's the O-line or Mitch Trubisky or it's the offense or we've got to wait till they get the run blocking in place is speaking utter rubbish. Matt Canada is grossly incompetent. He's grossly negligent in this team and what it is doing this season. Now, the Pittsburgh Steelers, in my opinion, have got to do a very unstealer thing. And that is sack Canada now. The guy is holding this offense back, an offense that is packed with weapons. Get Pickett in there, get the weapons used. Pickett can throw people open. Pickett has vision. He can read defenses. He's better than the Canada system can even get him. If they put Pickett into the Canada system, he will fail because the Canada system fails. Steeler Nation, I know I'm getting animated here, but Canada has to go. Steeler Nation, let me know what you think in the comments below about Matt Canada. And please remember, if you like what you've seen, hit that sub button and come and join the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you again really soon here on the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. <laughs>